to the church. Brothers and sisters, let us not prepare ourselves to participate in this celebration. Listening to God's word, praying for these children and their families, and renewing our commitment to the Lord and to his people. So I ask you, what name do you give your child? Joseph. And what do you ask of God's church for Joseph? hard question. What name do you give your child? And what do you ask of God's church for Joseph? Thank you. What name do your child? And what do you ask of God's church for Matthew? Give your child. And what do you ask of God's church for Christina? And what name do you give your child? Patricia. And what do you ask of God's church for Patricia? Baptism. In asking for baptism for your children, you're undertaking the responsibility of raising them in the faith so that by keeping, keeping God's commandments, they may love the they may love the Lord and their neighbor as Christ has taught us. God, you're ready to help these parents of these children in duty. So, dear children, the Church of God receives you with great joy. In her name, I sign you with the sign of the cross of Christ our Savior. And after me, your parents and godparents will do the same. You put your fingers on their foreheads. Sign them. the children without might easy the Lord and light come to the Lord come to the Lord 
So now if you can be seated, we'll start with our first reading. Okay, we're working to get our mics ready. So you guys just... A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Not yet. No. So we're going to have a first reading and then a psalm, a responsorial that Ryan will sing and lead us in. And then it'll be time for the gospel. So we'll ask you to stand then like we do at Mass. We actually have a team here that's doing the streaming inside, working the controls. They're all here, probably been here a lot. I'm thankful they're here and I know we'll get the mic working eventually. So now I'm gonna sit down and be patient. Water, and the water is still oh, yes. warm. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a, ma in a manner worthy of the call you have received. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. sheep of his flock. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. He is faithful from age to age. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens. You are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. The gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus. Please. 
please be seated for just a moment. And ask you to think about the reading we just heard, which is Jesus' baptism. There were big signs that let the people understand what was going on there. We heard three, actually. The heavens being torn open, the voice of the voice of the king, you are my beloved son, and then the spirit descending upon him. Three signs. I want you to remember, if you will, as you go on with your life and as you raise your children in the faith, those three things, because those are what are available to them now. This is the, the song you should be singing them every day. Heaven is open to you now. The Spirit is given to you, and you are the Father's beloved child. Those three things are important. They are the basis of our faith, and they are what should, they should, the children need to know that, okay? So remember those three things. The heaven is now open to you, and the Holy Spirit is given to you. Like it was given to us at our baptisms, reaffirmed at our confirmation, the Spirit is available to lead us to all truth. And the children should know in you, the way you love them that the Father sees that in them his beloved children. And so now if you will stand, we're going to have our intercessions. This is the prayers of the community for the children and for the community. So dear brothers and sisters, let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for these children about to receive the grace of baptism and for their parents, godparents, and all the baptized. Your response will be, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. You join me in that. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Give these children new birth in baptism through the radiant divine mystery of your death and resurrection and join them to your holy church. Lord, we ask, we ask you, you, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Make them faithful disciples and witnesses to your gospel through baptism and confirmation. Lord, Lord we, we ask, ask you, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lead them through holiness of life to the joys of the heavenly kingdom. Lord, Lord we, we ask you hear our, our prayer. prayer. May their parents and godparents make their parents and godparents a shining example of the faith to these children. Lord, Lord we, we ask you hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Keep their families always in your love. Lord, Lord we, we ask, ask you hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. You renew the grace of baptism in each of us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Patricia, pray for us. Saint Christina, Pray for us, Saint Matthew. Pray for us, Saint Bonaventure. Pray for us, all holy men and women. Pray for us. Almighty, ever living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil and bring the human race rescued from darkness into the marvelous kingdom of your light. We humbly beseech you to free these children from original sin, to make them the temple of your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now you can be seated. So this is the time of the first anointing. We're going to anoint the children with the oil of catechumens. The prayer we just said is a prayer asking God to bless and protect them from evil. The anointing is going to be a, the sign of the cross over their heart with this blessed oil. And that is the 
visible sign pointing this prayer of protection. So if you can get the children over here where I can reach them and get the shirts down a little bit so I can get to their chest, that would be great. So now we're going to bless the water and make it holy water. It's a long prayer of blessing that lets us understand how God has used water, the history of salvation. Dear brothers, you know that God graciously bestows his abundant life through the sacrament of water on those who believe. Let us then raise our minds to him and with one heart Pray that he may be pleased to pour out his grace from this font upon these chosen ones. O God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water, your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters, so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God, whose son, baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side, along with blood, and after his resurrection, commanded his disciples, go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church, and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all squalor of the life of old may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son 
into the fullness of this bond, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Okay, so now the water is ready. <laughs> now, time for us to get ready. This is for the parents and the godparents. We're going to profess faith here. The faith that the children are going to be raised in. Dear parents and godparents, through the sacrament of baptism, the children you have presented are about to receive from the love of God new life by water and the Holy Spirit. For your part, you must strive to bring them up in the faith so that this divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and may grow in them day by day. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus, the faith of the church, in which the children are to be baptized. These are the questions I'm looking for some loud I do's. Do you renounce sin to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil sin so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and buried, and rose from, again from the dead, and is seated at the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the Sins, and life everlasting. I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church, and we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Kind of get an amen. Amen. All right. So now the water's ready. You have professed your faith on behalf of the children, so it's time to baptize them. Kim is going to call up the families one by one up here. Will the family of Sydney Michaela Anderson please come to the baptismal area? Let me have that. Give them to me, yes. Yeah. Everybody, you can get up here. Get them up here. Okay. Give me another one. I dropped them on the ground, sorry. Well, just be sure everybody can see, so that don't block that camera. Yeah, you guys right here is perfect. The rest of you ought to come over here, like behind me. Yeah, you want to get in, don't you? So here's the deal. Before you lend her over, I have a, I have a question to ask. Then if you, like, look so I can pour without it going down her face, it'll go behind her. And then I'm going to give you this. So this is and what's, what other, do you have her Patricia as well? Patricia. So we're going to ask, is it your will that Sydney, Patricia, about faith of the church which we have all professed with you? Yes. Okay then. All right, Sydney, I in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Woo! Time to cheer. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. All right, now you can go back. There'll be more. So, thank you. I threw that one on the ground. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to invite the family of Joseph Ethan Ramirez up to the baptismal area. Yeah, you're free now. <laughs> totally free. Move them up first. That blue mic. So I'm going to ask you the question and then lean them way that blue back so that it runs okay. this way and not down into his face, okay? This is Joseph, right? You, you can Joseph just take it Nathan, off. Nathan, is that it? 
All right. Ethan. So is it your will, Joseph and Ethan, be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you? You just said on the Okay. Lean them back. Joseph, Ethan, in the name of the Father, and of the Son. Amen. Woo-hoo. I know. You have put on Christ. In him you have been baptized. Alleluia. Alleluia. So you, sister. I want you. I want you. I want, I want to be able to give you this. At this time, uh, we'd like to invite the family of Oliver Donald Rivera to the baptismal area. Should be on. Talk. Hello, 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 hello. It's on, it's on, it's on. Everything. <laughs> so this is so you can answer the question here. So remind me your child's name. It's Oliver and Joseph is the name of So I'm gonna say Oliver Joseph. So is it your will that Oliver Joseph be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you? I do. Yes, that's what I was looking for, thank you. So now lean them back. Oliver Joseph, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Woo-hoo! You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. I don't think we need that. Thank you. Give it back to us later, okay? No rush. At this time, I'd like to invite the family of Christina and of Matthew Rubino to the baptismal area. Is Matthew still singing? If you happy and you know it, clap your hands. That is. So, so we're going to baptize the children one at a time. Do we want to have the Christina go first? Okay. So, and we'll ask the same question for Matthew. So is it your will that Christina be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you? Yes. Excellent. Oh, man, I just dropped it again. This is the clean side, Okay. So, so lean Christina way back. Lean your head way back so the water goes in the bowl, okay? Christina, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Woo-hoo. You have put on Christ. In him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. It has to be baptized in the faith of the you? Sir, okay, Lena. Matthew, I baptize you in the name of, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. What a great kid. Woo-hoo. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. So now they're about to receive what's called the royal anointing. So it's anointing with chrism oil. That's an oil that's only used at ordination, confirmation, and baptism. And it signifies being anointed 
into Christ who is priest, prophet, and king. So we're going to anoint the children on the top of the head with this fragrant oil after the prayer. Mighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that you may remain members of Christ, priest, prophet, and king unto eternal life. Amen. That's okay. Leave her there. Leave her there. Leave her there. This next part is called clothing with a white garment because there's a great symbolism to the white garment. They're already wearing their white garments, so I'm going to come around and put the stole on them just momentarily. After the prayer, children, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourselves in Christ. May this white garment be a sign to you of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word of example. Bring it unstained into eternal life. Amen. Now we have another great sign to share. It is the sign of the lighted candle, symbolizing the light of Christ in their lives. So I would ask one godparent for each child to come up to the Paschal candle, which is our sign of Christ present among us at this baptism. And we will light the candle and hand it to the godparent. So if you have your own candle, yes, bring it up. If you don't, we have one for you. So come on up, godparents. Hmm, 
not lit. <laughs> Candle apparently has not stayed lit for us. <laughs> of Christ. Uh, we're going to light that thing again. <laughs> the old devil wind has come up. <laughs> stuff here. It's hard to keep it burning. Imagine, receive the light of Christ, okay? Behold, child of God, receive the light of Christ. We're going to have a prayer now inviting the parents and the God to help keep the light burning brightly. It's a sign, okay? The light you want to keep burning is in the children and in the family, okay? Sorry, I can't seem to keep the wind from blowing these out. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly so that your children, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as children of the light. And persevering in the faith, may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly court. It's actually a good thing you do to take it home and light it and explain what it means later, you know, on the anniversary of the baptism, maybe. So don't let the fact I couldn't light it today put you off, all right? Okay, we have a blessing now. It's called the Ephatha prayer. Ephatha was the word Jesus said when he healed the person who could not hear and could not speak. It means be open. So this is a prayer over the children. I want you to bless their mouths and their ears at the right time. You'll hear it in here. So parents, get ready. May the Lord Jesus, who made the deaf to hear and the mute to speak, grant that you may soon receive his word with your ears and profess the faith with your lips to the glory and praise of God the Father. Amen. Yeah, let's get an amen.
All right, there you go. Okay, so now we are at the conclusion of the rite. I'm going to invite you to stand so we can say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. And then there'll be blessings for the parent, the mother, the fathers, and everybody else here. So dear brothers and sisters, these children reborn through baptism are now called children of God, for so indeed they are. Through confirmation they will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit and approaching the altar of the Lord will share at the table of his sacrifice and will call upon God the Father in the midst of the church. Now in their name and in the spirit of adoption as sons and daughters which we have all received, let us pray together as the Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the mothers now, the Lord God Almighty, through his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers as the hope of eternal life shines forth upon their children. May he graciously bless the mothers of these children, so that as they now give thanks for the gift of their children, they may always remain united with them in thanksgiving in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. For the fathers, may the Lord God Almighty, the giver of life both in heaven and on earth, Bless the fathers of these children, so that together with their wives they may, by word and example, prove to be the first witnesses of the faith to their children in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And may God, the Lord God Almighty, who by water and the Holy Spirit has given us new birth into eternal life, abundantly bless his faithful here present, that always and everywhere they may be active members of his people. And may he bestow his peace on all who are here. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. And we say thanks be to God. But don't go yet. Sit. So, <laughs> I'm going to forget. So thank you to Kim and the team, sister, reading. Thank you to Ryan. Thank you to the camera people. And the people you haven't even seen yet that are inside trying to make this work live stream. That means you can go home and watch it again if you've missed some of it. <laughs> um, sacraments are free. But if you're inspired, you want to make a contribution to help us keep everything going here. There's going to be some little envelopes in the basket up there. The certificates, I think you have received, or oh, you're about to receive them. Please check them right now to make sure everybody's name is spelled correctly. Because if not, we can get it corrected. But if you leave it, go away, it's much harder to get it corrected. So uh, Mary's going to bring them around and just, just make sure they look right to you right now, okay? And then um, we're, as we conclude here, there's time. If you'll be gentle with each other and take pictures wherever you'd like. I think we actually will let you go inside briefly. Yeah, we we have some. We've been doing some recording for uh, a church event. So there's some Christmas decorations up in the altar area, but there's photos by the tapestry or the baptismal fonts. Or if you want to use the Christmas decorations in the altar area, just we apologize for the mess inside. So if you want to go, if you want to look inside, if you want to take some pictures inside, you're welcome to. You can take them outside in front of Saint Bonaventure. There's a Holy Family uh, shrine around the corner. Uh, the Blessed Sacrament, you can see through the, the tabernacle, through the window on that side of the church. Anyway, enjoy the, enjoy the place, okay? And thank you for bringing your children here for baptism and for uh, being the community that's going to help raise them in goodness and holiness and truth. Thank you again for being part of this. Um, did I forget anything, Ryan? Okay. Nope. You're going to sing us a final song? Uh, I can. No, he can't. Okay. Sorry. I think I interrupted the final song. That means as you go home, put on a good holy song in your car. Oh, we, we would just want to make, uh, for, for safety's sake with all of the restrictions going on right now, if we could just limit one family at a time going into the church. So one yes. family, go and take your photos, and then we'll, we'll let in the next group. Yeah, you can make it work. I know you can. Okay, thank you again for being here and being part of this. And remember, you're, we're community for each other's families, too. So families in your neighborhood at your school that 
need your witness, so give it to them. And thank you all. Oh, yeah. Remember, if you want things blessed, if you have little things that you're going to give to the children, you want blessed, the holy water is here. Now's the time, okay? Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah.